and don't don't put those hats back on just yet. Please take them off for the invocation. It's wonderful to welcome you here for this commencement ceremony. Would you please bow your head in prayer with me? Your word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Heavenly Father, who has created us and preserved us and generously bestowed on us all the blessings of this life, draw our minds and our hearts to the contemplation of your majesty, that we might desire nothing more than you and might fear nothing more but the loss of you. Incarnate Son, who has become for us a high priest, able to sympathize with us in our weakness, calm our fears about the uncertainties of the days ahead by the assurance of your presence that we may enjoy that heavenly peace which passes all earthly understanding. Life-giving spirit who sanctifies our lives and makes us living sacrifices well-pleasing to God, receive our anticipation for the next season ahead, that the works of our hands may be forever established in your sight as a well-pleasing aroma. Most holy and ever-blessed Trinity, in whose light we see light, and for whom our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Use this occasion of graduation from one season of our lives to another to make us more and more your very own, that we may ever walk in your sight unto our life's end and at the last behold you face to face. And all this we ask through Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome. Hello, seniors. You ready? Yeah, but long past ready by now. Welcome to the 167th commencement exercises of Hillsdale College. I thank General Neller and his wife, Darcy, and his son, our alum, Brett, and his, Brett's wife, Kaylee, for coming here to join us today, and I thank the general for his very great service to our nation. My job is to explain the purpose of the ceremony and to explain why we're all part of it. We've all produced it. We've all made it happen. We all must participate in it. Couldn't happen without anybody here. The purpose of the college is not hard to state, it's just hard to do. Uh, we're about to have our 175th year. So we're gonna start that and we're gonna dedicate a beautiful chapel and Justice Thomas is coming. And everywhere around the campus you see change, which however almost all looks like it isn't new. And that's because although the changes are real and serious, they're superficial because the deeper thing is the same. The college was founded for four things. The next phase of our college's history is gonna be called the Four Pillars Campaign. And what are they? They are the elements of good living for human beings. They are freedom and faith and learning and character. If you read the 1844 document in beautiful language, that's what it says. If you boil that down as we have over the years, it uh, becomes known to you in a way that helps guide how you decide, although, as I say, it's not always easy to decide. Who are we here today? We divide into two groups, uh, the academic community, we're all wearing uniforms. And the rest of you, whom we refer to behind your backs as civilians, as in, be good kids, there are civilians here. If you see somebody walking across the campus and you don't know who they are, it's always a good idea to go up and ask them who they are because there's some visitor gawking up at everything and you say, welcome to Hillsdale College. The rest of us, we take each other for granted, but not you. The most important group of you is the parents. Think what you've done. Now 21 years old, grown up, about to go into the world on their own. 
And that thing you started 21 years ago is coming to a peak, although I can tell you our children are in their early 30s, is not over. The parents here are uh, Parents Weekend. Did you find it to be a love fest? I do. We all look forward to it. Poor faculty, you know, they work hard and then they have to stay up, you have to get up and stay five hours on Saturday morning and talk to you all. And they all always leave with a smile on their face because it's a proof of the fact that we're doing something together. The steering committee, all of you parents are members of the Parents Organization Steering Committee, and what, four of them, couples of them, are retiring this year because their kids are, are graduating today, and we boot them out. Uh, and I want to mention their names and thank them and all of you in the warmest words. Michael and uh, Michelle Michaeloff, Jeff and Elaine Painter, Tom and Barb Perel, and Tony and Catherine Perry. Would you stand up, please? And, and would all of the parents stand up, please? It looks to me like each kid has four parents. <laughs> Another group of civilians that's very important are a group we call friends at the college. Friends is anybody else who's not a parent and not a member of the academic community and likes the college. The friends are millions of people. I mean, it's not an exaggeration. It, uh, we have a mailing list soon to reach five and a half million and send them a publication every month. It's crazy. And the great majority of them don't give us any money. Uh, we give them easy chances to get off, and they mostly don't. What is it that they're doing? They come to events, they take online courses. I'm always getting stopped in airports now, and somebody walks up to me and says, oh, I'm taking your online course, and you know, I have a question. <laughs> and, and if you ask them how they do on the exam, they're just like freshmen, they look at their feet and shuffle around. <laughs> we wouldn't be here except for those people. And I mean, not lately. Lately, there's, you know, very many of them. I mean, from the beginning. The college has always had friends, enemies too. But the friends make it work. And there are many of you here today, and many more watching the stream of this thing. And I want to thank you warmly. Uh, you see, without you two, the parents and the friends, no college, no senior class, nothing here. You're part of it. You've helped to make it happen. Now we uniformed officers, um, we divide into some groups. Uh, th those of us who have stripes, you know, uh, MA, sorry, BA, MA, PhD, oh yeah. Pre that, if you're the president of the college, you get a fourth stripe. General Neller has four stars. <laughs> it's just like that, isn't it? And you know it's divided into its units, too, and yet it's a whole. The faculty are the most important people who work here, by a lot. They have uh, helped these young people become equipped to live well as adults. And I can tell you, as I love to say, it's hard work, and it's a pain to everyone involved. Now the pain's over. Two of them are retiring. Uh, Dan Noak has been our librarian since 1876. <laughs> and he's the classic librarian. He's, um, he's calm. I've only seen him excited one time. Some stupid boys uh, let off some detergent bombs that the, where is he? Is he up here? Oh, the chemist. Stand up, Van Orman. <laughs> Van Orman is our next provost. Van Orman taught those boys to make that bomb. 
And, <laughs> and so they go off in the library, and I get this email from Dan Note called terrorist attack, big exclamation mark. <laughs> and then there's damage in the library. And I think, you know, first I thought maybe it was a terrorist attack. And then, you know, about an hour later emerges that it's four of our students, and so now I'm looking for them, and I know I'm going to find them. But, and you know, they're just stupid. They're not bad. I think one of them has a brother in the senior class. And, uh, but I won't call out his name, maybe. Um, and, you know, so I had to, Dean Pete and I were in a terrible fix because I had to satisfy honor as regards Dan Noak. I needed to crucify these boys. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't. I just talked to them really bad. And then Dan was happy. Uh, it'll be good without him because he's laid the base, but we won't forget that he has laid it. It is a modern library and it never causes me a problem. I, it's, uh, I'm so grateful to him. And the other one... <laughs> the other retiring person is the founder of our modern German department, Eberhard Geyer. He's an effective teacher. He's one of the kindest people I know. He's a sensitive man, too. And uh, to know him is to love him. And he's leaving the department in great hands. It's bigger now, it annoys me, because it got better and then it got bigger and then it cost the college more money. And uh, I would like Everhart and Dan Noak to stand up, please, and be recognized. Provost David Whalen has forever been the provost, and he's retiring from that job to do other jobs. He's going to go back to the English department mostly, but also he's agreed that he will do everything I say for the rest of his life. That's literally true. His actual response was, I'll let you retire, I said, but you have to agree. And he said, of course. <laughs> uh, and Chris Van Orman, the terrorist supplier, is going to become the uh, provost, but I would like us all to thank David Whalen. <laughs> we give awards for uh, excellence in teaching, and the two chief ones, one's called the Doherty Award, and the other is the Professor of the Year. The Doherty Award is given each year to, uh, in the spring to a junior, and in the fall to a, sorry, I got it backwards, in the fall to a junior, in the spring to a senior faculty member. And if you ever come to convocation, you should come to convocation, it's the funnest thing, and next year it's gonna be in our new chapel. And if you ever come, you'll see this award given, and you can look at the list of the names in the back, and you will see that they're among the greatest teachers there are alive. Everybody respects them. This year, the winners are Mark Kaltoff and David Gabler in history and math. Would they stand up, please? <laughs> Mark's got a boy graduating today. You'll be able to tell who it is. He's like really tall. The Professor of the Year is picked through a careful process. We've elaborated the process to make sure it's deliberate. Uh, they think about it, they talk about it, and the senior class, those guys right there, they pick the Professor of the Year. And it's a very high honor, and people who win it remember it forever. Many here have won it. This year's Professor of the Year is the Chemistry Professor, Leanne Barron. Would she stand up, please? Oh, there you are. You know, to, to be unable to find Leanne Barron, 
Like if, if, you, if you ever walk across the campus and she's talking, it looks like she's doing semaphore and she's knocked several people out. <laughs> the faculty are the senior members of our academic community and they guide it and they do that collectively, especially through the operation of the core curriculum. And I have come to rely on them completely. Please stand up, faculty, and let us thank them. The junior members of our academic community are the students. The seniors today are gonna to become full members, no longer novices. They have on their uniform the sign of their rank. Uh, they love to decorate their uniform, by the way, with stuff, and I hope they have it because we don't like it because it's a uniform and we can probably figure out what that name means. It's a sign of rank. You are to be marked an educated person through a difficult curriculum that you chose knowing it was harder than most. And you have come here and you have thrived and excelled and we are grateful to you. It's kind of a weird class. Um, last year, Ryan Murphy, a junior, was doing the internship program in Washington and she led the advanced team when, when uh, Mike Pence came here. So she led a vice presidential advance team to her own college. And somebody told me that was happening because we'd heard it from the White House. And I said, is that a good idea? You know, turned out fine. They come over to our house for dinner. And uh, there's, you know, as you can see, there's a lot of them. Almost all of them come. And they make toast and they sing and carry on and inspire. And uh, that's fun. And you guys were particularly fun this year. Uh, I should thank my wife because she organizes all that. And that's my wife, Penny, who could stand up, please. around here is there's plenty of opinions about the president, but everybody likes his wife. <laughs> the foolish Tegan James said to me, supported by the foolish Kaylee McGee, we're afraid the standards are getting too high and we couldn't get in here. And I said, gosh, we'd be incompetent if we wouldn't figure out you guys could, should come in. So probably you'll still be able to and your kids will too. Tova Foreman. Uh, dominated the challenging Sibelius concerto last night on the violin, and then she came over to my house for the third time to play the also difficult Hot Canary. Joshua Brown is another concert concerto winner with the orchestra. The whole orchestra, uh, sorry, the chamber choir. So Holloman, every couple of years, Holloman comes and says, the chamber choir wants to go on a junket. And so we have junkets all over the place. We have events all over the country. And so we try to take them, you know, but it's kind of expensive. And anyway, they're super busy. And the only one we had that was near in any way was in Indianapolis. And it was on the reading day before finals start. And I said to him, they don't want to go on there, do they? And they did. All of you, right, idiots. And, uh, <laughs> and so they come and they sing and they sing their hearts out. And they really, you're going to hear them. You, they really can sing. And it's a beautiful thing. And the, and the people who come to our events, they just love it when they're there. And on the other hand, they're all studying, you know, until two in the morning driving back with their books on their laps in the bus. That's what the seniors are like. Trey Brock is gonna be a wide receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs. Lots of achievement among them. The most annoying thing about them is this, there's not a top 10, 
there's the top 11. Because there are ties. And I would have thought, throw somebody out. But no, we've named 11. And their names are Nicole Alt and Catherine Bodnar and Marina Bostelman and Gil West and Hope Yonker and uh, Catherine Duhadway and Ellen Friesen and Rebecca Kaiser and Danielle Mazenville and Samuel Roberts and Jessica, Jessica Scoutis. Would they stand up, please? And this year's class has avoided the shame of last year's class that all 10 are not girls. <laughs> but mostly they are, of course. Here's another strange and terrible thing. We have two salutatorians, and they each have a 3.98 grade point average. And that only qualifies for second. And they are Nicole Alt and Hope Yonker, they should stand up again, please. <laughs> Nicole is the editor of the paper and also the outstanding senior wo woman. And Sammy Roberts, who's not as smart as Nicole, he only has a 3.95, is the outstanding senior man. And uh, would they stand up, please? Sammy seems like a nerdy little boy talking about Catholicism all the time. <laughs> but if he ever stands, stands up to talk, he's just hilarious. There's like some demon inside there. <laughs> and Nicole has been a surpassingly good editor of our college newspaper, and I thank her and John Miller who manages all that. The senior class officers become my buddies and comrades in crime because we set up all this and, and we deliberate together with the, uh, and they, they deliberate with the people who elected them the officership about who should be the commencement speaker. There was a consensus choice this year. But it's always complicated and you gotta figure out who you're gonna please and somebody will always complain, except I don't think anybody this year. You know, who's against the Marine Corps? Or rephrase it, who's alive who's against the Marine Corps? <laughs> So I'm going to name them, the aforementioned Ryan Kelly Murphy as the president, and the vice president is Marcus Kapersky, whom I advise when he's getting a standing ovation after a concert, he should smile. Because <laughs> I've never seen him not smiling in any other context. Uh, the secretary is Kathleen Russo, the treasurer is Kerry Williams, the social chair is Faith Witkowski, and the fundraising chair is Andy Chandler, and the fundraising co-chair See, he got demoted. Oh, they're co-chairs. Nick DeClean. Would those officers stand up, please? I, uh, you guys are really good. Uh, yesterday, this senior class made me cry. And that's good. You know, I do sentimental things all the time and I become callous and don't care anymore. But uh, we were in the chapel, and it is, I promise you, you should come back in the fall. It's an inspiring place. And Holloman will tell you it sounds great when they sing in it and all. And I was telling the story about uh, how you see God, and the culminating point was you could see the God if you're looking up in the chapel. But of course you can see God in their relationships. You can see them when they talk into the night, when they inspire each other and teach each other, which is mostly what happens here. Because, you know, they go and talk to these old people over here who know infinite amount and who are mature in their academic talents, which are very great. And then they go and they work with each other to figure out what it means. And they come to love each other. Another way in which the college is like the Marine Corps, very like it. The general and I have been noticing that all day today. And when I said that, about six of them burst into tears. 
And that's what made me cry. They love each other. They should. Stand up, seniors. Where's Trey Brock? Could you be bothered to come here, Trey Brock? Stand up, Trey Brock. Oh, there. What are you doing over there? <laughs> OK. Uh, he's going to play in the NFL. I don't know if he'll be any good. Know from us seniors that uh, you're a special bunch of people and we're going to miss you, but this is still home. You join the academic community, you're in it for life. The responsibilities that go with it, because think what everybody has done here. Everybody in this opportunity, in, in this auditorium, represents millions more who are invested in your education, and you are invested in each other, and they are invested in you and in each other. And it's foolish to undertake something like this. It'd be like uh, joining the Marine Corps and not trying to be brave. Coming here and not trying to be good and wise and true, that'd be a mistake. And I know you're not going to make that mistake. And that's why we love you. Robert B. Neller is the 37th Commandant of the United States Marine Corps. He's a native of East Lansing, Michigan. He has degrees from the University of Virginia and Pepperdine. He joined the Marines in 1975. Since then, he's He's been to the Army Officer Advanced Course. You'd think he would go to the Advanced Course, being the Commandant of the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps Command and Staff College, the NATO Defense College, and the Armed Forces Staff College. He's been the Commander of Marine Forces Command from in 2014 and 15, Central Command 2012 to 2014, Marine Security Force Company Panama during Operation Just Cause. That's when we went down there and creamed Noriega. He was in Operation uh, Iraqi Freedom as the Deputy Commanding General. He was Director of Operations for the Joint Staff in Washington, D.C. He's been President of the Marine Corps University. I didn't know that until today. He and his wife, Darcy, have three children. One of them, Brett, a graduate of our college and a football player. I will say about uh, General Neller that I went to Barracks One with Mike Murray one time to uh, watch the Friday night uh, drill, which is awesome, uh, all summer long in Washington. You should go. I bet Murray can get you a ticket. And because I'm a big cheese and because Brett Neller went here, I got invited to the private reception, and it was full of Obama officials. <laughs> and I thought, oh, wow. Yeah, I guess they run the Marine Corps, too. And uh, a lot of dignitaries, and the general came out and gave a talk, and he introduced them all. And, and I thought, you know, I wonder, well, never mind. You can imagine what I wondered. <laughs> and then he said at the end, he said, and you know, the president of the best college in America is here tonight. And he introduced me, me, and I was stunned. And then all of the generals there, it was like 60 stars on shoulders, came marching over to me to shake my hand and ask me about Hillsdale College. General Bailey has been here since then. And so what does that mean? That means uh, this is a man who says what he thinks. 
and he has been very brave, hasn't he? Please welcome Robert Neller. Thank you. I don't, I don't give speeches, um, so I'm going to ask permission from Dr. Arn to walk around and, and talk to you a little bit. But uh, to he and, and uh, Mr. Sajak, new chairman of the board, I did, I did consider the offer you made me, Dr. Arn, because he thinks so much of you seniors that he said, just take them all and enlist them in the Marine Corps. <laughs> and I said, yes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I had you for a second, though, didn't I? <laughs> for me, this is uh, probably not a normal thing. Yesterday and today, I was presiding and, and giving an oath of office commissioning about 35 officers in the United States Navy and the United States Marine Corps. Yesterday at College Station, Texas A&M, and today here at Hillsdale. And I'll be very frank to the, to the seniors here. Uh, speaking to this, to this audience, I'm a little bit nervous, and the reality is you're probably not going to remember a single thing I say. So I will try to endeavor to break that likelihood, but uh, as I thought about it, you know, given a, doing a commissioning and talking to those that are going to follow a path that I've followed for the past 40 years is something you would expect me to be able to do. The life that, that I chose actually 44 years ago, almost to a day, commissioned a, a second lieutenant, was not my plan. My plan was to do my three years and then go out and find my fortune elsewhere. And then over time, this didn't become what I did, it became what I am. And I think I speak the same for the faculty. If you become a teacher, eventually teaching is not what you do, it's, it's what you are. But as I started to think about it, I, I realized as I was going through the process at A&M and here today and watching it and looking at the faces of the, those who were commissioning it, this really is not a whole lot different than a commissioning. And, and let me tell you why I feel that way. Um, those, those officers, now officers, were students, and like you, they're beginning the next path in, in their life. Uh, they've completed the rigors of an academic institution, you're going to be awarded a degree. And with that degree becomes, comes responsibility. And at those same events, the one thing I also noticed is the parents. So I believe that the great majority of you hopefully are blessed by having somebody here to thank you afterwards and you're going to get your degree and they're going to come down and, and they're going to look at you and they're going to hug you and say, I'm so proud of you. And you're going to feel good about that. And you should feel good about that. I don't want you to ever forget how that feels to have that pride of your parents or grandparents your friends, your brothers, your sisters, whomever, congratulate you on this day. But that's just a first step. And I guess I would ask the seniors, we recognize the parents, I'd ask you to join me in a round of applause for your parents and your family that are here to support you today. Now your job is to go out and get a job with health insurance. <laughs> so what am I going to say to you that would be different than what I would say to a group of young men and women that are putting on the uniform to defend their nation and take on the demands of that profession? I don't really think it's any different. And I don't think it's any different than what you've heard here while you've been a student at Hillsdale. I think the qualities and the attributes that make people successful, I think if you talk to Mr. Sajak or all the other people that are here, or the Van Andels or all the people in business and the very successful people who rightfully and properly support this university, this college, there's no rocket science here. 
So in the Marine Corps, they, they tell you to keep it in threes because people can remember three things. So let me give you three thoughts. Effort matters. You wouldn't be sitting here today getting ready to come across this podium to receive a degree if you were not, exert, if you were not able to exert effort. But that effort doesn't end today. In fact, the demands of your effort are going to be even greater. There's a huge amount of talent among you. Your talent is only going to result in achievement if you're willing to put in the effort. And so thus far you have, and I know you'll continue to do that. But the demands on your effort as you compete against people outside this college and around the world are going to require more effort. The United States is in a competition around the world with others. It will take our effort to come out on top. The second thing, there will be adversity. There may have already been adversity in your life. Uh, your parents will probably could tell you about adversity. Maybe it was adversity that they've dealt with, somebody. But there will be times in the future when things won't go well. It may be professionally, it may be personally. There will be days when you'll be challenged. But your measure as a man or woman of virtue and character is going to be graded on or evaluated on how you persevere. You can't quit. You can't quit. I mean, the Marine Corps teaches us that. You can't quit. You figure out, you adapt, you overcome, you persevere. You figure out a way to solve the problem. And you've got all these people that Dr. Arn talked about, friends of the college, your parents, your friends, your family, your fellow classmates, who are going to be there to help you figure it out. You're never alone. You're never alone. So we have to overcome. We have to persevere. And the third thing is character counts. Character counts. And that's what this college is really all about. This college is all about character. I mean, you're smart, you, you're academically qualified, but I think the thing that may give you an edge is the discussions you've had about what's right, what's wrong, what's honor, what's integrity, what's virtue, what is a good man or woman speaking well, what is accountability and responsibility. So all those character traits, you think about the person in your life, they may be sitting in this room with us. They may be in the faculty here. They may be friends, they, but they're probably family members, coaches, teachers, people that, admire, that you admire, that inspired you over the years to get you to this point today. And they had all those qualities. qualities. They worked hard. They exerted effort. They were men and women of virtue and character. They were humble. They were respectful. They did everything to make everybody else better. It was never about them. It was always about the team. So character counts. So that's my message. Effort matters, character counts, and we have to persevere in all things that we do. In closing, again, I appreciate the opportunity to be here with you today, and I congratulate you all on your achievement, and I congratulate your families for their support. Because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, they're going to say something about us. And the first part of that sentence has already been written. It's going to say your name, your hometown, and it's going to say Hillsdale graduate. And then there's a space. There's a space. And somebody's going to write something in that space. And now you own that space. So what do you want it to say? This college has given you the foundation to fill that space in the right and proper way, and I know you're going to take advantage of that, so make it count. Make it count. I'm very proud to be here with you today. Again, to the families, thank you for your support, uh, for your, uh, your graduate. Uh, I know they are going to need your help in the future, and I know you'll be there for them, and for all of you that are graduating, best of luck, and uh, I wish you all well in whatever endeavor you take on in the future. Thank you very much.
I just told the general that's one of the best commencement speeches I ever heard. Thank him very much. Uh, would you come forward, General, please? If you look in that area right there on his left, decorating this man is redundant. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of Hillsdale College and with the authority vested in me by its board of trustees, I confer upon General Robert B. Neller the honorary degree Doctor of Public Service. I skipped over something, and I think the psychology department will tell me because tell me that it's because I'm repelled by this something. We have three valedictorians, and they all have four points. What is the world coming to? And the one I know the best, he's not even that smart. They actually are all three of them. Awesome. It's, it's curious that there are three. I've never seen that before. I've never seen, most years there's no four point. Uh, this time three, and then more amazing still, one of them is a boy. <laughs> and their names are Catherine Bodnar and Marina Bostelman and Gil West. Please stand up. <laughs> Catherine's going to medical school, and Marina's going to uh, graduate school, and Gil West is going to go into the Marine Corps when he can do enough pull-ups. <laughs> so now we know he's going to be able to do them because I've called him out. We're giving honorary degrees today to three people who are not here. They are Mr. Robert Bruce and Mr. and Mrs. David and Margaret Groney. It's interesting why they're not here. Robert Bruce is in the financial industry, started a mutual fund. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Groney started the Independence Tub Corporation, a steel company. These three people are friends to the college, which means something more than that they are generous to it, although they very much are. They love it. They love it for the same reason we all love it. They're not here today because they do not want any fuss made or any notice given. They do not want anything at all from us, except for us to do our work. See the obligations we all have? They wouldn't, they wouldn't come. It's a judgment that I won't alienate them completely by praising them in front of all of you and whoever's watching on TV, but I'm doing it anyway. Let them stand for the millions of people who are like them who wish us well and love the things that we love. So please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Stephen Van Andel is a alum of Hillsdale College. He graduated in when? To, when, 1991, 1951. <laughs> He's um, a polo champion. He, he won the US Open in polo. Isn't that strange? Um, we told him there was a board resolution because he lost it in the finals a couple times. If he didn't win it, we were gonna ask him to leave the board. So he did. He uh, took over the Amway Corporation from his father and from his father's friend and partner, Dick DeVos. And with his partner, Dick DeVos, he, uh, 
multiplied its size and it was already huge. He's been twice chairman of the US Chamber of Commerce. Uh, he's been chairman of many business councils. He's on the board of directors of the Gerald R. Ford Pre Presidential Foundation. Yesterday, he became the vice chairman of our board. He's one of the nicest people I know. Also, steady judgment. Then he married Amy. Amy was born and raised in West Michigan. She's been a nurse for 30 years. She does the hard kind of nursing when people are really sick and dying. She's taking care of people whose families remember her and always will. She's bossy. Um, if she weren't so kind, I said of her earlier, she's such a force of nature that she would wreak terrible destruction. <laughs> Thank God then that she's so kind. And it is a matter of particular pride to me to be able to present them honorary degrees. Please come forward. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of Hillsdale College and with the authority vested in me by its board of trustees, I confer upon Steve and Amy Van Andel the honorary degree Doctor of Public Service. You see, Mark Kaltoff would make a better provost. <laughs> or <a table. laughs> Under the direction of James Holloman, the Hillsdale College Chamber Choir.
Wonderful, Jim. The general thinks you're really good. Uh, Ryan Kelly Murphy is well known here as the elder sister of Taryn Murphy. Taryn just won the Everett contest, which Ryan also had earlier won. And so between them, I think they've scooped up six grand from the college. And I'm pleased to announce that Ryan has pledged that back to the college. <laughs> She's majored in politics. She's from Temecula, California. I have a list of the organizations that she's, of which she's a member, and it's a list of all the organizations. Kappa Kappa, Young Americans, Pi Sigma Alpha, on and on and on. She won the oratory contest. She's a stunning young woman. She's uh, full of goodness and positive outlook and intelligence and achievement. You can't stop her. She is the senior class president She's soon to start her own scarf business, which she's calling Blushing Sunday, whatever that means. <laughs> Ryan Murphy. I was bored. Mom was at Bible study, dad was watching Monday Night Football, and I was a seven-year-old with a lot of time on her hands. So I did what any young kid would do. I attempted to make marmalade from scratch. I didn't have a recipe. I had never made marmalade before, let alone tasted it probably. I just knew there were a bunch of orange trees outside and I wanted to experiment. As Hank Williams Jr. belted out, are you ready for some football? Dad kept a watchful and curious eye while I piloted a burning stove and a whole jam operation. Then, Mom got home. After recovering from the initial shock that her seven-year-old daughter was stirring a boiling cauldron of caramelized orange pulp, Mom gave the marmalade a taste. Much to her surprise, it was good. So good that she encouraged me to start a marmalade business. But before I could sell it to all of my grandma's friends, I needed one very important thing, jars. Seeking out the perfect jars, I found them. They were sturdy, beautiful, and unusually shaped, square with rounded edges, and I loved them. Those little jars are what I think of when recalling my days as a little marmalade entrepreneur. Nothing gave me more joy than to fill those jars to the very top and pass them on for someone to enjoy. Those vessels made the difference. I filled them up so they could be poured out. In ancient times, jars held water, wine, food, Scrolls, treasure, they held life. At times, their purpose seemed more glamorous, other times less so, but they were all vessels used toward a purpose greater than themselves. They were filled so they could be poured out. In 2 Corinthians 4, the Apostle Paul alludes to people being like jars of clay, readied to carry and pour out the truth of Christ's redemptive love for us. God is the master potter, and we are the clay, molded and ready to fulfill his plan for our lives and for his greater glory. Paul writes, God has made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. You and I, the class of 2019, are those jars. Over the past four years, we've been formed, molded, pulled, stretched and shaped, constantly a work in progress. We have been poured into 
with the intended purpose that after today, we will pour into others what we've gleaned from this place. We've trusted four years of our lives to this college. At this point, close to 20% of our 22 years alive. We trusted the people here to invest in us, hold us up, and take us along. Dr. Barron prayed with us before chemistry exams. Dr. Carrington helped us navigate the political magnitude of the American founding. Dr. Blackstock imparted thoughtful words of wisdom, lessons, and ethics to carry into the business world. And Dr. Arn kept us on our toes with that ever-hovering question, what is the good? Each of us can think of a time, probably many, in which our professors have invested in us, intellectually and spiritually. Our friends, too, have sharpened and built us up and poured into us. We trust these 1,080 days as Hillsdale College students have prepared us for a task greater than ourselves, seeking, spreading, and preserving truth. And while it may seem like we're each taking different roads after graduation, after the caps come off, the cars packed up with our belongings, and we leave this place for the last time as students, we're really not on different paths at all. We are each stewards of what we now hold. Talents, skills, character, and knowledge of what is beautiful and good. It is our duty to use these for God's glory. We are filled to the brim, but there is danger now of squandering this treasure entrusted to us. What good is it if it stays bottled up? What good are hidden talents? What good is a light hidden under a bushel? As jars of clay, the focus should not be on us. The world is thirsting for knowledge, for hope, for truth. You have it. Not by your power, but by God's, giving us grace and understanding. We are called now to pour it out in service of others and in service to Christ. I don't know what that girl's going to do for a living, but we're all going to know about it for sure. <laughs> Will the candidates for doctoral degrees please stand and remain standing? They're already standing. <laughs> Who told you guys to come over there? And the master's degrees, are you over there too? Yeah, yeah. They don't know when to line up. Will the graduating class of 2019 please stand up? Upon the recommendation of the faculty of Hillsdale College and with the authority invested in me by its board of trustees, I confer upon each of you the degree for which you've been a candidate and admit you, admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities to which you are entitled and obliged. Congratulations. Dr. Pastrito, please proceed with the graduate degrees. Will the doctor, will the doctor of philosophy graduates in politics please come forward? Veronica Leiter Brooks. Alyssa Bornhorst Cortez. P. 
Peter Richard Watson Cross. Thomas James Takama. Congratulations to our doctoral graduates. Will the Master of Arts graduates in politics please come forward? Victoria Noel Antrim. Joey Michael Beretta. Michael Joseph Driscoll. Matthew Robert Hazelton. Clayton John Rinko. Michael Merton. Paul Sebastian Mittermeier. Laura Emily Morcos. Christopher O'Keefe. Christina Lee Skirk. William Wesley Turton III. Brett Charles Waite. Congratulations to our master's graduates. On behalf of the graduate faculty, I'd like to say what a pleasure it has been to work with these students, some of them over the course of many years. We expect great things, and we wish them Godspeed. Dr. Arn, the awarding of graduate degrees is complete. Professor Kaltoff, please proceed with the undergraduate degrees. Will the graduates in accounting please come forward? David Preston Van Note II, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Honors in Accounting. John Henry Hitt, Bachelor of Arts in Accounting, Departmental Honors in Accounting. Jared Francis Shipper, Bachelor of Arts, Accounting. Aidan Donovan, Bachelor of Arts in Accounting, Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Accounting. Donald Stephen Ring, Bachelor of Arts in Accounting. Hung Nguyen Vin Luong, Bachelor of Arts, Accounting. Audrey Lee Cook, Bachelor of Arts in Accounting, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors in Accounting. Will the graduates in American Studies come forward? Kathleen Ann Rousseau, Bachelor of Arts, American Studies, Magna Cum Laude, D 
departmental honors in American Studies. Josephine Luna Von Dolan, Bachelor of Arts, American Studies. Joshua Simeon Pradko, Bachelor of Arts, American Studies, Cum Laude and Departmental Honors, American Studies. Corrine L. Prost, Bachelor of Arts, American Studies. Caitlin Faye McCuskey, Bachelor of Arts, American Studies, Cum Laude. Erin Marie Grice, Bachelor of Arts, American Studies and Rhetoric and Public Address, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in American Studies and in Rhetoric and Public Address. Brendan John Osi, Bachelor of Arts, American Studies, Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in American Studies. Would the graduates in Applied Mathematics come forward? That was quick. Would the, bachelor, would the Bachelor candidates in Art please come forward? Congratulations. Emily Ann Southgate, Bachelor of Arts in Art and French, summa cum laude. Madeline May Richards, Bachelor of Arts in Art. Zane Paul Miller, Bachelor of Arts in Art. Leif Eric Anderson, Bachelor of Arts in Art. Samuel Elliott Gallopo, Bachelor of Arts in Art. Marley Therese Bush, Ma Bachelor of Arts in art and English. Would the candidates in biochemistry come forward? Austin Michael Sandusky, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Cum Laude. Kara Dawn Violatel, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Cum Laude. <laughs> Stephanos Yanakopoulos, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry, Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Biochemistry. <laughs> Benjamin Warren Mayola, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry. Sheila Jessica Jane Taylor, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry, Cum Laude. Joshua Kenneth Laymaster, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry. <laughs> Tiffany Marie Farris, Bachelor of Arts, Biochemistry, Magna Cum Laude. Mason Payne Clutter, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry. Kayleen G. Bauer, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors, Biochemistry. <laughs> Rosemary Claire Paines, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors, Biochemistry. <laughs> Nicholas Francis DeClean, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry. Claire Marie Gwitt, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Biochemistry. <laughs> Julia Margaret Bosco, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Biochemistry. <laughs> Nicholas John Fain, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry. Laurel Jordan Arms, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry and French, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors in Biochemistry. Congratulations, Josh. Joshua Joseph Brown, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors in Biochemistry. 
Congratulations. What do we got? Christopher Isaac Huffman, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry. Nora Grace Gibbs, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Natalie Louise Meckel, Bachelor of Arts in Biochemistry, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Biochemistry. <laughs> Catherine Grace Duhadway, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry, Departmental Honors in Biochemistry, Summa Cum Laude. Christine Annette Osherman, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Biochemistry. <laughs> Catherine Alexandra Bodnar, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry and Economics, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Biochemistry. <laughs> Christopher James Klingner, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry and Politics, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Would the degree candidates in Biology please come forward? Jacqueline Ann Langer, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Erin Lindsay Flaherty, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Emily Alexis Holton, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Elizabeth Catherine Palmer, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth DeLapp, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Monica Marie Tui, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Genevieve Elizabeth Chiara, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Biology. <laughs> Faith Nicolene Wikowski, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Lauren Whitney Schlintz, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Caroline Mary Andrews, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Biology. <laughs> Elise Janice Farley, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Departmental Honors in Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Marina Noel Bosselman, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Biology. <laughs> Anders Manuel Torres, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Congratulations. Andrew Michael Lohman, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. Ryan Christopher Lardner, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. Okay. Daniel Udell Masonville, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Biology. <laughs> Brittany Betty Lay, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. He Sang Lee, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. Matthew Stephen Moskowitz, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Yes. Caitlin Virginia Lowry, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Daniel Allen Theory, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Ann Owino Coro, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Benjamin Wayne Evans, Bachelor of Science, Biology. 
Rachel Lynn Tolsma, Bachelor of Science in Biology, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors in Biology. Elizabeth Catherine Lewis, Bachelor of Science, Biology, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors in Biology. Anakin Jillian Ellingson, Bachelor of Science, Biology, cum laude. Wyatt Connor Batdorf, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Seth Cutler Johnson, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Joseph Dominic Spompanato, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Would the candidates for a degree in chemistry please come forward? Jared Alexander Gohl, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Chemistry. Charles Thomas Yost, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry. Nathan Jerome Pando, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry. Anthony Joseph Pistrito, Bachelor of Arts in Chemistry and Latin, Magna Cum Laude, Honors in Chemistry and Classics. Rebecca Carol Holscher, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Chemistry. Madeline Louise Gish, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude. Ryan Joy Norton, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Cum Laude. Yi Zai, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry and Mathematics. Would the candidates in Christian Studies please come forward? Carrie Lynette Olson, Bachelor of Arts, Christian Studies. Jeremy Russell Hewitt, Bachelor of Arts in Christian Studies and Spanish. Would the candidates in Classics come forward? Jesse Alexander Fail, Bachelor of Arts, Classics. Tova Catherine Foreman, Bachelor of Arts, Classics, Cum Laude. Suzanne Louise Perbrun, Bachelor of Arts, Latin, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Classics. All right. Mark Garrison Compton, Bachelor of Arts, Classics and Philosophy, Magna Cum Laude. Chloe Grace Reiki, Bachelor of Arts, Classics, Summa Cum Laude. Madeline Lily Albrecht, Bachelor of Arts in Classics, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Carrie Ann Bigenek, Bachelor of Arts in Classics, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Would the candidates in Economics please come forward? Teresa Lee Patton, Bachelor of Arts Economics, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Ashley Lane, Bachelor of Arts in Economics and French. Thomas Barton Mullen, Bachelor of Science in Economics. Matthew Lawrence Painter, Bachelor of Arts Economics. Michael Powell Perzitsky, Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics and Economics. Aaron M. Hutari, Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics and Economics. Alexander Nathaniel Taylor, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Anna Elise Perry, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Carly Reagan Reno, Bachelor of Arts in Economics and Spanish, Cum Laude. 
Emma Pauline McCormick, Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Economics. Nicole Renee Alt, Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Economics. Rebecca Marie Kaiser, Bachelor of Science in Economics, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Economics. Amber Soraya Crump, Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Cum Laude. Jonathan Gerard Lapshin, Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Dylan Rain Lottenville, Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Cum Laude. Elizabeth Christine Laux, Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Andrew Arthur Berryhill, Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Economics. Peter Stephen Lingdahl, Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors Economics. John David Cordes, Bachelor of Arts in Economics and Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude. Wake up, Corny. Gordon Matthew Baer, Bachelor of Arts in Economics and Politics. All right. Luke Daniel Douglas Barbrick, Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Cum Laude. Genevieve Rose Suhita, Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Cum Laude. Tavia Ann Viskauskas, Bachelor of Science in Economics and Spanish, Summa Cum Laude. Pierce Jonathan Pomerlow, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. John Frederick Novak, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Colin McDowell Bateman, Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Jonathan Thomas Calcaterra, Bachelor of Science, Economics. What? Samuel Ross Castles, Bachelor of Science, Applied Mathematics and Economics, Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Mathematics, and Departmental Honors in Economics. I, I have to keep it. Sorry. <laughs> Michael Jonathan Chasen. Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Economics. Congratulations, Marcus. Marcus Samuel Kopersky, Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Economics. Joseph Marshall Seiler, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Carrie Ann Williams, Bachelor of Science, Applied Mathematics and Economics, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Economics. <laughs> Catherine Ann Fassett, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Adam Ballantyne Pierce, Bachelor of Science, Economics and Psychology, Cum Laude. Jacob Thomas Broussard, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Eric Tyler Halverson, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Economics. Miles Lincoln Garn, Bachelor of Arts, Economics. Would the candidates in English please come forward? John Wilson Roman, Bachelor of Arts in English, Cum Laude. Thomas, excuse me, Eric Thomas Rigg, Bachelor of Arts in English and Theater, Summa Cum Laude. Austin James Benson, Bachelor of Arts in English and Theater, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in English and Theater. Dylan Jacob Straley, Bachelor of Arts, English. Isabel Helen Parell, Bachelor of Arts in English and Religion. 
Reagan Nicole Lash, Bachelor of Arts in Classics and English, magna cum laude. Madeline Marie Berry, Bachelor of Arts in Art and English, magna cum laude. Therese Elaine Boyd, Bachelor of Arts in English, magna cum laude, Departmental Honors in English. Mary Grace Therese Alice, Bachelor of Arts in English, magna cum laude. Judith Moreno, Bachelor of Arts in English and Theater, cum laude, Departmental Honors in Theater. Emily Ruth Heider, Bachelor of Arts in Art and English. Anne Virginia Batzel, Bachelor of Arts in English, summa cum laude. Brian Ronald Cliff, Bachelor of Arts in English. Jessica Faith Scoutis, Bachelor of Arts in English, summa cum laude. Haley Ray Halprick, Bachelor of Arts in English, summa cum laude. Natalie Catherine Taylor, Bachelor of Arts in English, cum laude. Lydia Christine Hall, Bachelor of Arts, English. Ryan Michael Burns, Bachelor of Arts, English. Henry Sebastian Listenberger, Bachelor of Arts, English. Molly Catherine Andrews, Bachelor of Arts, English, summa cum laude. Grace Ann Houghton, Bachelor of Arts in English, cum laude. Madison A. McAfee, Bachelor of Arts, English. Chloe Marie Kukaji, Bachelor of Arts, English, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors in English. Anna Grace Timmis, Bachelor of Arts in English, cum laude. Julie Josephine Havlock, Bachelor of Arts in English, cum laude. Congratulations. <laughs> Brooke Johanna Conrad, Bachelor of Arts in English, magna cum laude. Cecilia Mariah Platon, Bachelor of Arts in English. <laughs> Hannah Marie Sokolovsky, Bachelor of Arts in English, summa cum laude. <laughs> Emily Virginia Walker, Bachelor of Arts in English, magna cum laude. Alexander Malcolm Stevenson Green, Bachelor of Arts, English. Would the candidates in exercise science please come forward? Calvin Douglas Kinney, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science, cum laude. Allison Elizabeth Eads, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science, summa cum laude. Julia Carey Formentin, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science, summa cum laude. Madeline Julia Bissett, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Brittany Kristen Gray, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Roberta Hope Briggs, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Nicholas Francis Gadwood, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science, summa cum laude. Caitlin Marie Kish, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science, magna cum laude, Departmental Honors in Sports Studies. Levi Jacob Wise, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science. Christian Donald Rodino, Bachelor of Science, Exercise Science, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Sports Studies.
Would the candidates for degree in financial management come forward? Carter James Wilson, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Brendan Eric Rolfs, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. John Andrew Sarasi, Bachelor of Arts in Economics and Financial Management. Justin Lewis Hyman, Bachelor of, Sci of Arts, Financial Management. McKenna Nicole Ott, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Allison Joan Dwyer, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management and Spanish, cum laude, Departmental Honors and Management. Joseph Lee Hamrick, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Kevin Dean Monson, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Jacob Paul DePillo, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management, magna cum laude. Michael Patrick Mitchell, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Are you really? Are you really? Congrats. <laughs> Nicholas Roy Zarnowski, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management, magna cum laude, Departmental Honors. Harrison Joseph Nigo, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Look at this. I get you, I get you guys all. Congrats. Jonathan Michael Wilkinson, Bachelor of Science, Financial Management. Andrew Joseph Sherd, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management, Cum Laude. Joshua David Hoover, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Andreas William Pfizer, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. James Michael McGrath, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Hope Catherine Yonker, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management, summa cum laude. Amanda Maria Mara, Bachelor of Science, Financial Management, summa cum laude. William Kendrick Snecker, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management, cum laude. Matthew John Grunzweig, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Andrew Francis Grayson, Bachelor of Science, Applied Mathematics, and Financial Management. Alexander Mark Harvey, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Nolan Scott Kendali, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Matthew Ray Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Dana Nicole Newell, Bachelor of Science, Financial Management. Devon Ann Pogue, Bachelor of Science, Financial Management, magna cum laude, Departmental Honors in Financial Management. Alec Lauren Yo, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management. Kevin Robert Kirby, Bachelor of Arts, Financial Management and Spanish. Would the candidates in French please come forward? Jemima Ruth Soriano Capuz, Bachelor of Arts, French, Cum laude. Morgan Jane Channels, Bachelor of Arts, English and French, Cum laude. Michaela Ann Brisky, Bachelor of Arts in English and French, Cum laude. Laura Jean Claven, Bachelor of Arts, French. Summa cum laude. Would the candidates in German please come forward?
Katarina Martin Bradford, Bachelor of Arts in German and Philosophy, cum laude. Elizabeth Grace Demsky, Bachelor of Arts, German. Elizabeth Ann Lozowski, Bachelor of Arts, German, summa cum laude. Lydia Helen Reyes, Bachelor of Arts, German, Departmental Honors in German. Allegra Brihana Warchel, Bachelor of Arts in Biology and German, Departmental Honors in German. Would the candidates in history please come forward? Samuel Joseph Roberts, Bachelor of Arts in History, summa cum laude. Nicholas Brendan Rowan, Bachelor of Arts, History. Shadrach Joseph Straley, Bachelor of Arts in History, magna cum laude. Grayson Elizabeth Murray, Bachelor of Arts in History, magna cum laude. Daniel Colin Ziegler, Bachelor of Arts in History and Politics, magna cum laude, Departmental Honors in History. Ellen Ruth Friesen, Bachelor of Arts in History, summa cum laude. Dominic Martin Joseph Whalen, Bachelor of Arts in History. David Benjamin Woods, Bachelor of Arts, History, cum laude. Abraham James Paternoster, Bachelor of Arts in History, magna cum laude. Juliet Kathleen Asbel, Bachelor of Arts in Art and History, magna cum laude. Abigail Jeanette Allen, Bachelor of Arts in History and Politics, cum laude. Rachel Alexandria Minoski, Bachelor of Arts in History, cum laude, Departmental Honors in Rhetoric and Public Address. David Raymond Doerr, Bachelor of Arts in History and Politics, magna cum laude. Christopher James Sturgis, Bachelor of Arts in History, Departmental Honors in History. Nathan Bedford Clark, Bachelor of Arts in History. Kelly Ann Sullivan, Bachelor of Arts in History. Sabrina Dorian Barlow, Bachelor of Arts in History and Politics, cum laude. Abigail Grace Lawrence, Bachelor of Arts, History. Christopher Adam Horn, Bachelor of Arts in History and Greek, magna cum laude. Amanda Marie Klug, Bachelor of Arts in History, summa cum laude. Abby Louise Titus, Bachelor of Arts in History and Politics, cum laude. Emily Kristen Simpers, Bachelor of Arts, History. Michael Francis Whitman, Bachelor of Arts, History. Zachary Paul Van Valkenburg, Bachelor of Arts, History, cum laude. Benjamin David Weeks, Bachelor of Arts in History and Political Economy. Katie Elaine Hillary, Bachelor of Arts in Classics and History, summa cum laude. Cameron Charles McGrady, Bachelor of Arts in History, magna cum laude. Timothy Michael Polelli, Bachelor of Arts in History and Philosophy, summa cum laude. Hey, David. David Price Chase, Bachelor of Science in History and Exercise Science. Eli Andrew Poth, Bachelor of Arts in History, cum laude. Kendra Marie Lantis, Bachelor of Arts in History.
Clara Elizabeth Fishlock, Bachelor of Arts in French and History, Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in French. Brooke Christian Sabina, Bachelor of Arts in History and English. Adam William Sipley, Bachelor of Arts in History. Mackenzie Lauren Self, Bachelor of Arts in Art and History. Would the candidates in international relations come forward? Elizabeth Eleanor Clara James, Bachelor of Arts in International Relations. Would the candidates in international business and foreign language come forward? Shailen Valerie Schultz, Bachelor of Arts, International Business and Foreign Language, Cum Laude. Cameron Kirk Maxwell, Bachelor of Arts in International Business and Foreign Language, Departmental Honors in International Business and Foreign Language. Would the candidates in Latin please come forward? Another quick one. Marketing and marketing management. Jessica H. Wilcox, Bachelor of Arts in Marketing Management, magna cum laude. McKenna Bednarski Lynch, Bachelor of Arts in Marketing Management and Spanish. Sophie Marie Gorecki, Bachelor of Arts in Marketing Management. <laughs> Amelia Pearsons Colbreth, Bachelor of Arts in Marketing Management, Cum Laude. <laughs> Katie T. Zelenek, Bachelor of Arts in Marketing Management. Jacqueline Rose Rafe, Bachelor of Arts in Marketing Management. Joseph Scott Thistleton, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management. Erin Elizabeth Cook, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management, Cum Laude. Madeline Elise Bragg, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management. Chad Nicholas Schiller, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management. Christopher Robert Paul Whittler, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management. Cole Bradley McNeely, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management. Tanner Mark Sizemore, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management. Christopher Wagner Ackerman, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management, Cum Laude. Christopher David Stewart, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management. Philip Austin Hecker, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management, Magna Cum Laude. Paige Elizabeth Vanderwall, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management, Cum Laude. Caleb Alexander McNitt, Bachelor of Arts, Marketing Management, Summa Cum Laude. Andrew Allen Zwires, Bachelor of Arts in History and Marketing Management. Math. Would the candidates in mathematics please come forward? Rose Schweitzer, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Spanish, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors in Mathematics. <laughs> Abigail Alisbet Troborst, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, summa cum laude. <laughs> Jaden Lippincott, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, magna cum laude, Departmental Honors in Mathematics. David William Dietz, Bachelor of Science in Economics and Mathematics. John Paul Zawatsky, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics. Jonathan M. Peters, Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics and Economics, 
magna cum laude departmental honors in mathematics. Thomas Robert Royser, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, cum laude, Departmental Honors in Mathematics. Would the candidates in music please come forward? Catherine Therese Howard, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Quinton Darelli Reichard, Bachelor of Arts in German and Music, cum laude. Sydney Marie Orndorff, Bachelor of Arts in Music, magna cum laude, Departmental Honors in Music. Thomas John Ricecamp, Bachelor of Arts in Accounting and Music, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors in Music and Honors in Accounting. Would the candidates in philosophy come forward? Birch Ian McCoy Smith, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy. Kyle William Hewitt, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy. Colleen Brady Prince, Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Spanish, cum laude. Gil Hamilton West, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Philosophy, summa cum laude. Matthew Nicholas Nolan, Bachelor of Science in Biology and Philosophy, magna cum laude. Richard Rockany Flowers, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy. Rachel Lees Lozowski, Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Religion, magna cum laude. Rebecca K. Carlson, Bachelor of Science in Philosophy, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors in Philosophy. Would candidates in physical education come forward? None? Physics? Let's go to physics. Charles J. Rose, Bachelor of Science, Applied Mathematics and Physics, cum laude. Laura Salo, ba Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Physics, magna cum laude, Departmental Honors in Physics. Christos Yenakopoulos, Bachelor of Science in Physics, cum laude. Would the graduates in political economy come forward? Tessa Marie Nardosa, Bachelor of Arts, Political Economy. Audrey Claire Denning, Bachelor of Arts, Political Economy, summa cum laude. Alec Romero Mena, Bachelor of Arts in Political Economy, Magna cum laude, Departmental Honors in Political Economy. Alexander Thomas Miller, Bachelor of Arts, Political Economy, Magna cum laude, Departmental Honors in Political Economy. Dustin James Bowers, Bachelor of Arts, Political Economy. Quinn Elliott Myers, Bachelor of Arts, Political Economy, cum laude, Departmental Honors in Political Economy. David Dean Grumhaus III, Bachelor of Art of Science, Political Economy and Psychology. Would the candidates in politics come forward? Ross Michael Hatley, Bachelor of Arts, Politics, Magna Cum Laude. Adam Dean Lauf, Bachelor of Arts, Politics. Nathan Dylan Cheng, Bachelor of Arts in Politics, summa cum laude. Rachel Leona Frederick, Bachelor of Arts, Politics and Psychology, Departmental Honors in Psychology, summa cum laude. 
Okay. Peter Joseph Seeley, Bachelor of Arts, Politics. Eric Jeremiah Goff, Bachelor of Arts, Politics. James Patrick Burke, Bachelor of Arts, Politics. Cody Robert Meckes, Bachelor of Arts, Politics. Samuel James Lucas, Bachelor of Arts, Politics, Cum Laude. Alexander Joseph Pankow, Bachelor of Arts in Economics and Politics, Magna Cum Laude. Garrison Edward Grisdale, Bachelor of Arts in Politics, Summa Cum Laude. Kaylin Kathleen Michaeloff, Bachelor of Arts, Politics. Ryan Kelly Murphy, Bachelor of Arts in Politics, Summa Cum Laude. Christian Alexander Yu, Bachelor of Arts in Politics, Magna Cum Laude. Andy Joe Chandler, Bachelor of Arts in Politics, Cum Laude. Tegan Riley James, Bachelor of Arts in Politics, Summa Cum Laude. Kaylee Danielle McGee, Bachelor of Arts in Politics, Cum Laude. Would the candidates in psychology come forward? Daniel James Henriksen, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors, Psychology. Emmanuel Franklin Cecil Boyer III, Bachelor of Science in Economics and Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Timothy Adam Irvine, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Molly Catherine Schutte, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Psychology. Rebecca Renee Vicola, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Cum Laude. Welcome back. Taylor Brittany Bennett, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors Psychology. Lucille Ann Townley, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Psychology. Hannah Jean Mogenberg, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Cum Laude. Kelsey Anna Lantis, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Cum Laude. Would candidates in religion come forward? Margaret Lamson Odell, Bachelor of Arts in Music and Religion. Ethan James Greb, Bachelor of Arts in Religion, Cum Laude. Yoel Paitela, Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics and Religion, Magna Cum Laude. Nathan Brian Nevu, Bachelor of Arts in Religion, Magna Cum Laude. Would the candidates for a degree in rhetoric and public address come forward? Karen Marie Fuchs, Bachelor of Arts in Rhetoric and Public Address, Summa Cum Laude. Shiloh Renee Carroza, Bachelor of Arts in Rhetoric and Public Address, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Rhetoric and Public Address. Congratulations. Jenna Christine Biggs, Bachelor of Arts in Political Economy and Rhetoric and Public Address. Emily Ray Harville, Bachelor of Arts in Rhetoric and Public Address, Magna Cum Laude, Departmental Honors in Rhetoric and Public Address. Jordan Taylor Pear, Bachelor of Arts in Rhetoric and Public Address and Sociology and Social Thought, Cum Laude. Would the candidates for Spanish come forward? Shelby Lynn Bargenquast, Bachelor of Arts in Spanish, 
summa cum laude. Would the candidates for the degree in sports management come forward? Andrew John Callahan, Bachelor of Arts in Exercise Science and Sports Management. John Martin Brennan, Bachelor of Science, Sports Management. Chance Everett Stewart, Bachelor of Arts, Sports Management. Paul Warren Brock, Bachelor of Science, Sports Management. Would the candidates for the degree in sports psychology come forward? Hunter Mackenzie Stevens, Bachelor of Arts, Sports Psychology. Carly Jo Goff, Bachelor of Arts, Sports Psychology. Olivia Grace Llewellyn, Bachelor of Science, Sports Psychology, Cum Laude. Ryan Joseph Rogers, Bachelor of Science, Sports Psychology. Would the candidates for the degree in theater come forward? Catherine Elizabeth Burzma, Bachelor of Arts, Politics and Theater. Lane Coburn Gaudet, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Jessica Lee McFarlane, Bachelor of Science, Theater. And I would now ask in conclusion that the three newly commissioned officers and the Marines come forward to receive their respective degrees. <clears throat> Joshua S. Bailey, Bachelor of Arts in Marketing Management, magna cum laude. Aubrey Jordan Brown, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Daniel Jeff McAllery, Bachelor of Arts in Politics. On behalf of all the faculty, I wish the heartiest congratulations to each and every graduate. We bid you Godspeed. Please come back to campus and visit us again. Be friends for life. Dr. Arn, the granting of the baccalaureate degrees is complete. William J. Broadbeck has been the chairman of the Board of Trustees since 2002. He was the chairman of the search committee that contacted me about this job. And if another had been the one, I probably wouldn't be here. Whether you're happy about that or regret it, I don't care. <laughs> he's one of the best people I ever met. And he's retired from the chairmanship, but he will be chairman emeritus, and they'll still live here in this town and give away free bottles of wine to anybody who stops by the house. Bill Broadbeck, please stand up. New chairman of the board, yeah, Bill, he's a cult figure now. Uh, the new chairman is Pat Sajak, who I've known sometime about 1988 or something. I uh, found out that he was a man of uh, intelligence and judgment and Lord knows wit, hardly able to be controlled. Uh, He's a splendid man. He's going to lead the Board of Trustees, and he's going to be great at it. Pat Sajak.
Thank you very much. Thank you. It is, uh, it is a distinct honor to be here with all of you. Uh, a great honor to uh, share the stage with General Neller. I was speaking with the general before we came out here, and as I looked down, I could only think, I really need to shine my shoes. He's, <laughs> I look positively terrible next to him. Uh, I know it's been a long day and you want to get on with your day and get on with your life, so I will be brief. My comments shouldn't run more than an hour and a quarter, so be comfortable. Uh, as uh, Dr. Arn mentioned, I have uh, assumed the role of chairman of the board here at Hillsdale, a singular honor and privilege, and I'm grateful to the board for allowing that honor to happen. Uh, I have served for the last 15 years as vice chairman of the board at the right hand of the aforementioned Mr. Broadbeck. And when I look at what has happened on this campus, not just the, the physical plant, but by any measure, these past years where Bill Broadbeck and, and Dr. Arn have teamed along with the board, have been nothing short of miraculous. And I think when the history of this institution is written, these will be the golden years of Hillsdale College and it's been an honor to be with them. As for Mr. Broadbeck, no one is more passionate about this place, no one loves this place more, no one knows more about it than this guy. And sadly, Bill has lost his eyesight, but he has never lost his vision. He will continue to serve on the board, and I'm grateful for that. Thank you, Bill. So, as for you guys, uh, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, congratulations to you all. We are so proud of you. Uh, you should be proud of yourselves. I'm sure you are. I know your family is. I know your parents are, your extended family, your friends, your neighbors, all of those who have offered some support over the last four, or in some cases, five years. Uh, congratulations to you all. Uh, Hillsdale College is not in the business of uh, helping to mold merely uh, the next generation of, of lawyers and uh, doctors and uh, business people and teachers. We're in the business of molding the next generation of citizens. And as I look out at this uh, group of citizens, I have great uh, hope for the future of this country. So again, go out there and uh, be good citizens, do good things, do great things, be happy, be prosperous, be successful, keep Hillsdale in your hearts. And again, thank you, congratulations, and God bless you all. Let us pray. May God the Father, 
who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve you and keep you. May God the Son, who calls his sheep by name and leads them to green pasture, guide you and save you. May God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to all who call on Jesus by faith, equip you and strengthen you for every good work. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you. 